Hello to all my Wolfpack members out there. My name is EJ and we have a new review today. I've had the privilege of seeing the first two episodes of Wolfpack, a new spinoff based on the Teen Wolf MTV series. This is heading to Paramount Plus and I'm so excited to dive into it. So enough of this intro, let's get into the review right now. On this channel, I usually like to do a recap and a review, a video where I break down the overall feelings, but also give you a almost scene by scene breakdown of all of the biggest talking points from an episode. I've done it for American Horror Story. I recently just did it for The Last of Us, and I do plan on doing it for Wolfpack. But in this video, I wanted to just kind of get my review portion out of the way. I really was enthralled. I was really, really intrigued by the first two episodes of this show. There was a lot of juicy bits. This is also coming from someone who isn't the biggest Teen Wolf fan. So I was hesitant, but you know, when Queen Sarah Michelle Gellar is in a show, you tune the hell in. And I am tuning in, but the show actually hooked me on more than just her stuff, because we'll get into it. There's not a lot of Sarah Michelle Gellar, at least in these first two episodes, but there is a lot of compelling story, some very interesting characters, and as a fan of supernatural things, you give me like werewolves and the whole horror, like universal monster kind of elements, and I am hooked. I can see a lot of potential growing from these two episodes. There are strong main characters, a pretty strong supporting cast, and a great talented actress like Sarah Michelle Gellar to bring in the view Viewers. This has potential. This can definitely grow. In those first two episodes, I saw a lot of juicy bits that I cannot wait to get into. I'm going to save the the play by play, the spoilers for my recaps that will be coming out as the episodes come out. There is one on the 26th. This video should be coming out the 23rd. So this is my overall review. Like I said, tune in for the recap later on this week. But let's get into more of the nitty gritty details of Wolfpack. Wolfpack is a spinoff of the Teen Wolf series, but don't expect a proper spinoff like you're thinking. This isn't like, let's watch like Allison or Lydia have our own little thing to do in this universe. No, these are new characters kind of introduced in the same universe. If you know the Teen Wolf werewolf lore, there's definitely elements of that here, but there's not this like heavy baggage you need to really follow all of it. You can kind of come in as a newbie. I you know, I have a, a basic bare bones knowledge of Teen Wolf. I knew what it was. I knew that it was there. I just saw the Teen Wolf movie. You can check out my review for that on Flickering Myth. I am not as kind to that movie as I am as I am to these two episodes of a television series, mostly because the movie felt like a long TV episode and movies and TV are different. Anyways, that's for a different review. But here with Wolfpack, I got two episodes of a show that I was really like trying to see where I could find myself getting into the story where I'm like, okay, here's the pieces. Here's all the things. Where can I go? What can I get personally invested in? It's beyond just the Sam Michelle Gellar ties. I actually am intrigued by these characters. I really want to see Everett and Blake's arc. I want to see where they grow. They have established these characters very firmly. Yes, they're a little bit of a, a, a kind of a, a template character like Blake. She's the angsty girl with no social media that has a weird home life. And then Everett's like strict parents. Maybe he's a little bit different, feels like an outcast. There's those moments there. But then there's also like the, like Luna and all of that stuff that I like that. And then you have Miss Kristen Ramsey, Sarah Michelle Gellar's character, who is an arson investigator. I won't say much, but I don't know if I trust her. When she's like, I do the arson business, I said, hmm. You sure you're not like a werewolf hunter? I don't know. She's giving me instant vibes and I'm not spoiling anything because I truly don't know in the episodes I've seen, but I, that's what I like. This, this had me like, hmm, where can we go? What's the details? Let's get going. There's the big event that kicks it off with the fire and we have like Blake and Everett on the bus sing the fire and then at that moment, a wolf attacks them. They don't really know what attacks them, but you know, we, we have the power of knowing what the hell the show's about. It's called Wolf Pack. So yeah, a wolf attacks them and they start going through some changes, but there's other people who have gone through the changes as well and they're going to start forming a pack, which is really interesting. It's a bit different than what Teen Wolf wanted 
wanted to do that how that have very uh, a coming of age vibe this definitely has that as well but i also feel a chosen family story coming along a this is our ragtag group of people we have to make this work that's something i loved about buffy so yeah there's stuff here that i'm like Oh, th there's elements here. I'm very surprised of what they're setting up. I, I, I truly am trying to keep this as vague as I can because I'm going to dive into the episode when I do because that premiere was good. But surprisingly, episode two was the one I liked more. Now, the show is not perfect. If you've seen anything in the Teen Wolf universe, you know they love their dark nighttime cinematography so much so that you can hardly see some scenes. That is apparent here. I don't love the visual style of the show, though there is some interesting camera work. There is some more surreal moments that have a bit of a, a dream-like like feeling that actually really worked here. So there was moments that I didn't love the look, but what they were doing with, they actually did use it well at times. I would also say they're the visual effects. They're not the strongest. You know what you're getting into with a Paramount Plus series based on Teen Wolf. It's not going to be a 10 out of 10 Avatar, The Way of Water, masterpiece but I don't think it's that bad I, I like what they're doing we don't get a full evolution so I cannot wait to see you know if you know anything about werewolf movies that transformation is what we all love so I'm curious to see the first full graphic oh my god I can't believe they did it so I, I want to see whether I could fully judge it on you know judge the visuals once I get a transformation like that oh and I would also say the characters they're fine but they're a bit they're a bit one-dimensional at first there's a couple people like like Harlan and Luna that I'm like cool but what what's going on there I I need more like I I just need more from these characters they all kind of come off very first draft I want to see the third draft of these people I want to get the fully realized characters I know it's only two episodes in but I felt like Okay, I know my main people, but I haven't really learned the supporting cast. Like, the father that we keep seeing lost, and I'm like, okay, why do I care about him? Like, the show is, it's like pulling me in in some ways, but they're not giving me enough to hook me in the other things that they want to hook me in. Thank God I have other things I'm caring about because there's there's elements of the story that aren't fully there yet. All in all, I think this was a solid premiere, a solid way to kick off Wolfpack. As much as I wasn't a big Teen Wolf person, I can see myself getting into this. I was, you know, kind of originally there for Sarah Michelle Gellar when I found out she was not in the first two episodes a lot of the time. I said, well, let me figure out other ways to get into things and I got into it and I enjoyed it and I think you all will too. If you're a big follower of my channel, you know I like my supernatural drama with people and their OMG moments and I think this will have it. I want to know your feelings on Wolfpack. Are you going to be checking it out? If you've seen it already, what are your feelings on the premiere episode? Share your thoughts down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be doing weekly reviews of this as long as, as well as, sorry, as well as doing The Last of Us reviews. You can also find my other channel, Flickering Myth, where I have interviews with the cast of the Teen Wolf people. I have reviewed Teen Wolf the movie. There's a lot over there. So make sure you guys are checking out Flickering Myth as well. All right, everyone, let me know your feelings down below.